just finished building your gun. Now we're gonna ballast it. And uh, to find out the proper ballasting, we just came down here and appeared to uh, stick it in the water. So first thing we're gonna do is just put it in the water as is and see what it does if the back end floats or sinks or what the front end does. Um, a few other things we're gonna need are some duct tape and some uh, just small spare lead weights that you might have sitting around. All right, to do this, you want to load your, your power band. Because the power bands float, and if you don't load it, it's going to just make the gun real floaty at the, the front. So just preload it, stick it in there. You can see right now it's, it's real floaty. You know, the, the front's actually a bit heavier than the, a bit floatier than the back end. So we're going to just um, tape some weight. Start taping a few ounces of weight to the front and back and see where we can get this thing to sit right. So I just put six ounces in the front. That's definitely sinking now. It's probably sinking a bit fast. Um, the back end sinking first. So I'm gonna just take a weight off the back end of it. So uh, it goes down and goes first. It's sinking just about right now. It's nice and level. I let it go. So, um, we're gonna count that weight. We're going to write down the weight we have in the front and the weight we have in the back. And when we get back to the shop, um, we're going to melt it into the gun. Down at the dock today, we figured out we needed 14 ounces of lead for the front of this gun. And uh, lead weighs 6.4 ounces per cubic inch. So we just did a quick calculation, figure out <clears throat> the length, the width, and the depth we need um, to ballast this properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt lead into the shape of this slot. And you don't want to melt it into the gun because it'll crack the gun with the lamination. So we're just going to get a cheap piece of wood and uh, make the same slot in a cheap piece of wood and melt our lead into that. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and uh, the lead has cooled down a bit now. We're just gonna knock it out of the mold and put it into the gun. So now we're gonna epoxy our ballast into our gun. And, uh, we're using Neptonics epoxy. It's a simple two to one ratio. And uh, we have it clarified um, twice so it doesn't yellow over time. You can use it for uh, laminations as well as inserting hardware box like this, and then as well as uh, final final coats. So we're just gonna pour a two to one. Okay. 
and stir that up. You want to stir it for maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Make sure you got a good mix. And uh, just keep on scraping the sides. Make sure you scrape the bottom. Mix it all up. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of epoxy in the bottom. Just give it a bed to sit on. I'm going to seal it in. And a good way to pop the bubbles, get the bubbles out of there, is just put real low heat on your torch and um, just do a few swipes across and you can see the bubbles just pop and uh, rise to the surface. So now we're gonna pour some lead into the back end of her gun. And what's really nice about the Elite handles is that they, got, they have a big cavity you can pour the lead into. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to do that right now. You're gonna need a few ounces of lead. We're putting four ounces in the back of this handle, um, a metal funnel, and a clamp. And the best way to do this is just clamp the front end of this um, handle to a piece of wood you don't care about, because we're gonna, just gonna scorch the wood a bit. And then we're just going to insert the, the funnel into the top end of the handle. And I'll be right back with the lead. Just going to wait for that to cool and then uh, we'll check it out. Just poured a few ounces of lead in this handle and um, it all settled down to the end of the handle, the bottom of the handle. If you can uh, take a look at that, got a nice plug of lead in there.